dear traders, today is Tuesday, January 5th. I'm glad to greet you online and share a regular market review prepared for InstaForex. Today is International Slimming Day, I guess you know how to celebrate it. Well, let's stop eating up the dishes left from the New Year feast. Now it is the right time to lose some weight and celebrate another foolish festival suggested by the you know. Now let's discuss our charts. And our first instrument to discuss is gold as usual. Gold aims to hit a lower low than November's extreme view. I'm not going to get involved in it, so you'd better stay away too. We traded a bullish three-way structure that worked out well. Now it doesn't make sense either to buy or sell gold in this zone. So I suggest that we'd rather leave this instrument for a while. The technical picture for the euro dollar pair looks more interesting. Today I would advise you planning some short positions. I'm looking forward to opening shoot positions in the American session. The selling ID was confirmed yesterday. Indeed, the euro signed during the American session yesterday a lot of green rectangles which I plotted in the chart denote activity of American traders. So I suggest trading downwards. Why? The selling price is 20 pips above the round level. The first trick profit is 40 pips down. The second one is 60 pips down. With God's grace, 150 pips in the third downboard target. These are the targets which every seller of the euro dollar pair is dreaming about. I'm playing these levels bearing in mind the American trading activity. However, something could be wrong in this zone. Yesterday, the pair failed to hit a fresh annual high. Not good. An accurate breakout happened on December 30th, but it didn't happen on December 29th. That's why I advise you to set tie stop losses. There is a possibility that the US dollar's weakness could push the price up. If so, we could see a change in market sentiment and we could buy during the third wave. Thus, I recommend a tie stop order, which could bring a nice profit. If this doesn't happen, we could expect selling activity from a local high during the American trade. Recently, the chart tells us that Americans are selling the pair, but European and Asian traders are buying it. We can try either sell from here from with a stop loss about 1.23 or we could sell from a higher high amid American selling pressure. In the daily chart I found out a pin bar yesterday. This bar reveals selling pressure, so we could try this. What about the pound sterling? Like the euro, it tumbled yesterday during the whole American session and partly during the European one. London announced a lockdown. Bad news for the sterling. At the same time, this is not an excuse to go short because risks are uncertain. The sterling didn't retrace 50% yesterday, they didn't open the door for short positions. Having retraced 60%, it is now rebounding. So we have nothing to do but wait and see. The dollar yen pair's dynamic is determined by the greenback's weakness. The pair has left behind nice upward levels. Yesterday in the daily chart there was a pin bar which is being engulfed and most in full today. Visually, the dollar yen pair has got stuck in a sw swamp. I would like to see breakout in the nearest day. Today the US will release PMI data. Hope it will be good enough to trigger some bullish moves. Meanwhile, all long impulses are ruined and there are no signals of trend reversal. Pin bars have not broken any extreme views. It means that they do not activate stop losses set by sellers. Sellers are still holding the upper hand. It's better to recognize the moment of a trend reversal. Those who trade against you will be less numerous. My idea for the dollar yen pair is to wait for any positive news for the dollar. This could happen later today. That's all I wanted to tell you today. Feel free to leave your comments. See you later online. Take care.